Hi everyone, in this video I am going to talk to you about niche marketing or niche um, businesses and what is a niche you may ask and in a nutshell niche is a small market within a large market and the easiest way to explain this is you have a huge market for example and within the huge market you drill down to a small uh, a business and then you promote that business and basically and that's that is your niche an example of this would be for example now camping on broad time is a huge market but if you decide to start up a business selling camping gear and then what you do on a broad term, you start selling all sorts of stuff related to camping. You know, your tents, your lamps, and this and that. Anything to related to camping and camping holidays, uh, camping in the mountains, camping this, camping that. And then what you do is you find a product or a service within the camping business or camping industry or um, and then what you do you find a small product within the camping section and then you promote that and you only focus on a small item. An example would be survival kit. Now, survival kit or surviving, or no, when you go camping, people need to know how to cook, how to lit a fire, how to put up a tent, how to cook, um, how to make uh, basically make a tent, um, cut firewoods, that kind of thing. So you could just pick up survival kit, for example, how, how to survive for a couple of days in the wilderness till you get rescued, or if you're in trouble, if you get rescued, or you could pick up a survival knife and you write about it and you make a blog post of it and make a website of it and gather some momentum, get some traffic into your site and all you do is keep selling a survival kit for the camping market. So that could be your particular niche. Another example would be, now we all know baby products, you know, it's a huge market. Uh, new bain babies, toddlers and this and that, so it's, a, it's a, a very, very big market. Now, to find a niche on a, a that kind of market, you need to drill down to a small items, like you just cannot go on and have a business of selling a, hugely just the baby products. What you have to do is remember to have target the audience in a smaller way. Like, um, again, you could do baby, newborn baby safety products. Example would be baby monitor. Um, stair stairways or staircase 
guard, rail guards, you know, those rails you put up so the baby don't climb up or toddlers don't climb up the staircase or fall down the staircase. So you could have a guard, like a gate. You could have plastic covering for your electric appliance covers. You could have plastic um, snaps for your kitchen appliance, drawers, doors, that sort of thing, door stoppers. Uh, you could have um, a car seat, for example. You could have a one of those sh straps you put on a baby's back, keep them tied, keep them tied up to you while you're walking, so they don't sort of run away from you. Um, you could have a monitor with the baby and keep a monitor with you and have a monitor with the baby and if the baby gets lost you'll find the baby easily so you could have that kind of monitor you could have a temperature monitor of a, a temperature sensor in your room to sensor the condition the heat and humidity of the room you could have a, a one of these baby monitor sensors that you put underneath your baby mattress or underneath the, the duvet so you can monitor the movements of the baby. You could have a video monitor. Um, that kind of stuff. Um, so you can always put all your uh, your niche into uh, safety systems and another thing you can do also you can have a monitor to for the baby bath when you're bathing your baby you could have a sensor or thermostat or um, you dip into the water and you, you know the temperature of the right water so to put your baby for the bath um, there's so many um, equipment and item you can do in that niche is forever ending. So that's a niche you can target. There, there's so many other niches out there. There's hundreds and thousands of small niches. Um, but the important thing is you have to passionate about something and then you have to look into the this the the market for it you have to do all of your research and then once you build up a an idea on what to get about and the next thing it will come automatically, it will fall its place automatically. You know, I'm sure you know how to do a website, I'm sure you know how to do a blog site, and you can do a, a YouTube videos promoting this product, you can join Amazon affiliate, you can join a eBay affiliate programs, you can join others, there's so many other affiliates programs out there you can join. And then you talk about these products and you put linking and you sell the products to the general public. Because these, the certain type of people always go and buy the camping gear because they don't do camping. And the baby products, there are always going to be babies around the world. There are always going to be a market for babies. There is endless opportunity on that kind of market. So look at look at what you're passionate about look at the niche you want to go on research a niche and you carry on you could have a niche on cooking you could have a niche on gardening you could have a niche on you know literally anything out there you can make a niche out of i mean i know there are seasonal niches where it's only the summertime 
like the barbecue niche, you can go do a barbecue right up. But although saying the European countries or in the UK, we got this small window of summertime where people do barbecues. But saying that you can target America, for example, in the state, you have a lot of big, big states where area where you don't get winter for example there's no such as winter there so there always you can ever sell those to those target and around the world where and there's always you know needs for they will always have a barbecue places like australia south africa and you know the warmer climate you can always target people the barbecue stuff um, there's so many niches, you know, you could have a car niche and you could have a um, pharmaceutical niche, um, endless opportunity out there. But the fact is you have to find it and you have to enjoy it and you have to get a bit of idea on what you want to do. I mean, I know um, sometime that niche you know you're thinking about it but you're struggling to get the idea you're spending hours and hours and hours of researching researching and nothing works for you and then you realize there's a light bulb moment comes along and you realize all along you had the idea in front of you but you weren't were thinking about it it snaps it gets and come up with a good product so basically what it is it's an idea that you want to turn into a business and make a lot of money and there is so much tool out there nowadays in the internet how to get these ideas and how to promote them and if you look around the YouTube there's full of hundreds and thousands of videos teaching you what to do and most of these videos will always want to lead you to something. That's well and good because the purpose of the video is for them to sell you something. Even in this video, my intention is for you to watch it and possibly click the link, like or subscribe or comment button and I'll always put a link I'm associated with Amazon eBay and if you go to my links at the bottom of the description and click it and then you go and buy something for example I will end up getting a bit of commission whether you buy the product product I'm suggesting or you buy something else from Amazon it'd be great because I'll end up a bit of commission and I really appreciate that you know it's all about what you enjoy, what you want to do, and what you like doing. If you don't enjoy something, you will never ever succeed because you give up. I've done it time after time after time. I spent hours and hours and hours researching. And finally, it's coming to me. I'm finding my mission, I'm finding my niche, I'm finding my why talking about my own niche years ago I used to be involved in restaurants you know I used to run and own Indian restaurants and I always used to look for niche, 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 niche and because I'm based in the UK um, the Indian restaurant and the curry business goes back years, time of the British Raj, you know, so curry and the pub, pub and curry go together. And I was searching for a niche, searching for a niche, and one day one of my friends told me, look, why are you searching for a niche? You are in a niche yourself. Think about it. But I never gave a thought. Then a light bulb moment popped up. 
And I said, yes, I'm in Ish. And I started showing people how to cook Indian food in, 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 in the sense of restaurant perspective. Not the home cooking, the why the restaurant cooking. So most of the Indian restaurant in the UK is owned by the Bangladeshis. You know, when they came in this country and migrated over the years, they set up business and possibly 99 point something percent of the restaurants owned by the Bangladeshis. So I said, it's a great idea. Why not I show them? So I started a channel called Indian Restaurant Cooking. YouTube channel started as a joke and then it grew and grew and grew now presently I left the restaurant game I'm no longer in the restaurant game and yet I have a, a channel that has access of more than 11,000 subscribers over two and a half million views in less than three years and attracting more and more people coming into it. So I found a niche. Now I can easily promote stuff through that, through that YouTube channel. And I'm slowly doing that. It's not working, but it'll work, slowly it will work. Because then you have to think, another point of view you have to think when you do a niche you find a niche you get your traffic you get your people you get your subscribers everything comes in its place but you have to think about what type of subscribers or the viewers is coming into your channel and it's then it's another challenge for you to adapt to learn Look at your facts and figures and work out where the, your viewers are coming from, which part of the world they're coming from, what are their interests. So when you engage your, with your customers, your viewers or your followers, then you get to know them. They get to know you. And once you come up with that relationship, and then they trust you. So it's building trust. Once you build a trust, you can do anything in life. Building trust is important. So basically, that's um, what is about a niche. And another, uh, on the side, I've started another niche called buy, sell, second hand. I have a, I sell on eBay platform, and I have a channel, YouTube channel, with the same name. I put a link up down the bottom. All of my other products, I do. And you can go and check it out. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, I have given you a bit of idea into how to start a niche. And hope you find your niche and get on and make tons of money. And please click like, subscribe and comment button make comments and please also if you're thinking of going to do your shopping on amazon or ebay whatever please go through my link so i can end up uh, having some brownie points once again thank you so much and i have to do more videos on different subject thank you